Do you mean entropy or do you mean phase space volume, that 10 to the 10 to the 120? I mean phase space volume, yeah, okay. that's fine. Very cool. Um, so the substantive question is, I mean, su suppose we're a priori tempted to say, look, uh, the design hypothesis is a good explanation of fine-tuning or something. I mean, that hypothesis by itself doesn't seem to give us any particular reason to expect a benevolent or interfering or any of these kind of gods. We, we might well say, look, the, a, certain, a certain precisification of the design hypothesis, that the design was by a benevolent being, looks spectacularly unlikely given the data, but that doesn't seem like it needs to be part of the... Uh, part of the explanation itself. Now, obviously, a lot of people come to the design hypothesis with an ulterior motive, or more charitably, with the idea that it's part of a unificatory framework that fits into other reasons to believe in a, 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 a designer with particular extra features. But by itself, it looks as if the design hypothesis itself just supports an extremely minimal conception of God. I think that's fine. I mean, I guess I, I was being sloppy um, in mixing up different possible roles God could have there, and I was being more sort of traditionalist in that sense. I, I don't think, I would still, even in the minimal designer kind of conception, I don't think that I can imagine uh, a justification for claiming that this designer explains the cosmological constant but not the low entropy of the early universe. At the very beginning, when you were addressing the sort of rationalist a priori sorts of conceptions of God as maybe the reason why is Schrodinger's equation and not some other sort of equation that explains the sort of uh, 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 time, time evolution of the, of the wave function of the universe, um, you sort of said, well, uh, why do I need an explanation for that at all? Why isn't it just the way that it is? And then later on, you brought up the concept of parsimony in science. Mm -hmm. And you seemed to say that that's just uh, the way science should be done. Well, why couldn't it just be that the ultimate answer for the way the universe is, is vague or ugly or, or complicated or all three? Yeah, no, that's an excellent question, actually. And I would sort of give two uh, responses, neither one of which is, if I had one perfect response, I would give that one. But uh, the first one is that self-consistently, it seems to empirically work, right? I mean, you imagine that we can understand the universe by coming up with simple rules, and we look around and we succeed a lot, right? And so therefore, we take advantage of that apparent success. Uh, the other is that, you know, you need some, so, so, so let me finish that, it could have been wrong. Right? I mean, we, it's not like a, an a priori principle that the universe should obey simple rules. We could try and completely fail. Uh, but fortunately, we don't seem to be in that situation. And the, you know, the second one is you know, we need some axioms to get ourselves off the ground. Right? We need to, for example, uh, assume that we are not brains and bats being taunted by evil demons and so forth. I, I don't think that there is any cut and dried logical argument that I'm not a brain and a bat just hallucinating all of you guys or vice versa. Uh, but I can make progress by assuming other things. So I think that, you know, it's not, maybe I exaggerated when I said it's the way science must be done. Uh, it's the way science is done and has been successfully done. Okay. So I wonder about, so at points in your talk, you seem to, make an assumption that uh, the hypothesis of God, if it's going to be a good hypothesis, has to be relevant to everything in science. So, um, for example, uh, you're concerned about the probability uh, of observing low entropy, um, or the constant, the values that we have of entropy given God's existence, and you think, well, that's got to be low because we don't need um, that to create life. In fact, it's not conducive to creating life. But an assumption behind that seems to be that kind of if there is a God, then everything God does is for the express purpose of creating human life. Whereas a lot of these, um, it, it seems like you might plausibly think that God's existence is relevant to some physical facts in the universe without being relevant to all of them. So the person who thinks we need to God to explain some things doesn't think that like we can't do science in any domain without this hypothesis. So I guess, and this is sort of along the lines of David's question too, so I guess to what extent do you think the hypothesis um, really needs to include all of these scientific facts? Yeah, I think that's a good question. I don't, I don't think, I, I certainly am, am willing to buy that I, it would be 
There's no reason to think that God should be the explanation for everything, even if God exists. But I would nevertheless think that I don't see any scheme in which I use God to explain the value of the cosmological constant, but choose not to use him to explain the value of the low entropy of the early universe. In one case, where, you know, they're both cosmological parameters, uh, they're, and the, the argument is, I understand why the value of the vacuum energy is the value it has. It's because if it were much bigger, I wouldn't be here. God made it small enough for me to be here, but didn't bother making it any smaller. And I, I don't see why I would possibly be allowed to say those words when talking about the vacuum energy and not allowed to say them when talking about the low entropy of the early universe. So it's much less broad than trying to explain everything at once. It's trying to explain, you know, a very finite set of cosmological parameters. And I don't think that within that set of parameters, I see any justification for picking and choosing. Okay, I think that's, uh, that's our lot. So can we thank our speaker again? Thank you.